Welcome to another episode of NOC Tech. So a lot of y'all have been asking me how I record my gameplay. What I use is Shadowplay on GeForce Experience application. It's recommended you have at least a NVIDIA GPU. You can actually have the 600 series, but I recommend having like the 10 series, like you know, the latest series. First thing you have to do is obviously install the software. Just go Google, just search GeForce Experience. It will just bring you here, download it. I don't need to teach you how to install things, right? I would say the first thing to do is to update your drivers. Very simple, at the top left here, you got drivers and download. Drivers are important because it kind of helps the communication from your GPU and your game. Means better performance from your GPU. So once you're done updating your drivers, you go back to the top left, back to home, you can see the optimized page. Something that's really cool about the GeForce experience, you can actually detect what in-game settings is best for your hardware. So in this case, I have the 1080 Ti and let's try Fortnite. So you can see everything is max settings because it's a 1080 Ti. 100 epic, full screen epic, epic, go to PUBG. Everything ultra, full screen, ultra, ultra, optimized. Do take note, if you want more frames per second, you can actually just change. There's a custom settings at the right and you can actually turn it down. Really depends on your liking. But since I have a 1080 Ti, you go for the optimal. Even if you don't want to record anything, I do recommend you update your drivers and optimize your game. So now we can go into shadow play. So there are three ways to record. One is a normal record where you just, you know, record and stop. Next is instant replay where Shadow plays constantly record the last five minutes of a gameplay so that anytime you want to save the last five minutes, you can just press a button and they will just save it. And last that you won't see here is highlight where Shadow Play works hand in hand with the game and it will just auto save a kill, a death, or any highlighting moment. That's why it highlights. We're gonna try to put all this in practice and actually play a game of Fortnite and a game of PUBG. If I'm not wrong, Fortnite will prompt us to turn on. There we go. So Fortnite will prompt us to allow to use GeForce Experience to automatically capture highlights of your gameplay. Obviously say yes. Now we can go into the highlight settings. We go alternate X and we go to highlights. And you can see, this is what the game will record. If you have a death, a double kill, a down, a kill, a multi-kill, a triple kill, and a win. To record, all you have to do is press alternate F9. That's the default button to record. So you can see at the top right, you know that you're recording right now. So we're gonna turn off now. And if you want to turn on the instant replay, all you have to do is press alternate X and your overlay will come out and instant replay is on the left. Turn it on and you can see from the logo from the top right, it's recording. So any recording you want, the last five minutes, you'll be safe. Press alternate F10 and you can see the logo here and it says save the last 15 seconds. 15 seconds because I just turned on the instant replay lah. There we go, there we go. That was really bad. As you can see now on the top right, it says kill save. What? So it's, it saves deaths or so. So for PUBG, I'm gonna use the normal recording. I'm recording right now. But if you want to turn on highlights, you have to actively turn it on. So you have to go to settings and you can see video capture, highlight auto capture. And you can change this to shadow play highlights. One more, one more, one more is there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! I have to shoot him because I have no health. All right, let's go. There we go, there we go. Oh, there's people there. Cannot, cannot, we lost. Never mind, it's okay. That was fun, <laughs> got six kills. And we'll stop recording alternate F9. And yes, the, the three ways to record has its own use. So let me know what you think about this video, this tutorial video. Also, one last thing, if you want to have a, the NVIDIA newsletter, you can go to your account and you will have this newsletter on the top right. It will just give you the latest uh, technologies and the latest thing that the GeForce NVIDIA are doing. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy again. And remember to click here for more, click here to subscribe. And yeah, yeah, a lot of you ask me, to record this is usually how I record lah.